A blessed evening to all of you who are here with us at the shrine of the Jesus the Divine Word and also those who are joining us in worship through this live stream. The, uh, these two apostles of the Lord are less, we do not have much information about them. No, Saint Simon and Saint Jude. The first one, Saint uh, Simon, has that nickname Zealot in the account of uh, in the Gospel of Luke. Perhaps the same meaning of the the term Cananian in Matthew's Gospel. Probably, he uh, subscribed to that ideal of the so-called uh, a society that has as the head or as the center God, what we call theocracy, no? and also the ideal of the Messiah. And uh, he was one of the part of that group of, uh, that opposed the uh, invasion and the rule of the Romans. That's why they were called uh, precisely as uh, zealots. No? Jude, on the other hand, is the apostle called Thaddeus, or in today's gospel, Jude of James, or uh, in other uh, uh, gospel accounts, he is also called uh, Jude, the brother of the Lord. During the Last Supper, he asked Jesus why he revealed himself to the disciples and not to the world. And Jesus responded that uh, the authentic manifestation of God is for those who love Him and who observes His Word. Meaning, one can only appreciate God, Messiah, the Messiah, Jesus Himself, the revelation of God, if one has entered into that friendship with God with Jesus. He is considered as the author of a, a letter in the New Testament called Letter of Jude, but uh, scholars now are saying that uh, it cannot be asserted that it was really Jude who, uh, who wrote this. And uh, for us uh, Catholics, Saint Jude is one of the uh, the famous uh, saint, venerated saint, as patron saint of uh, the hopeless case uh, causes cases. This practice is said to stem from that uh, belief that pro Christians, few Christians, invoke him for the misplaced fear of praying to the betrayer of Christ, Judas Iscariot, who in uh, Greek, he, it is the same as Judas, but in the translation, they, we would use already Jude to distinguish him from Judas. This uh, Jude, Saint Jude, supposedly neglected uh, because of they might be the fear that they might be praying as if praying to to Judas Iscariot. No, uh, they said that uh, uh, Jude was quite eager 
to assist anyone who sought his help to the point that of interceding in the most dire circumstances. And probably that is the reason why uh, we have uh, s that he has so, man so many devotees. Our church, for example, in near Malacanang, St. Jude the Shrine, National Shrine of, of St. Jude. No. Among these, uh, in the Gospel today, we find Jesus praying before the calling of his uh, disciples. He prayed specially when he needed to make important decisions or actions. Prayer is an act of humility because it is an acknowledgement of our dependence on God and uh, a gesture of submission to his will. Jesus in today's gospel shows this attitude. Even though being, he being a, the son of God with power and authority, he did not presume to decide on his own. He knows his place as the one sent by the Father. And the Father has the master plan. The Father will direct everything and Jesus' part is to be faithful and to obey the Father. And I think this is also the very attitude of the of Saint Jude. You now, as we pray to him, as we ask for his intercession in our uh, necessities, I know very well that uh, many students before exams, board exams, or uh, in difficult situations, they go to St. Jude, but I think more than this is the message of St. Jude is that, yes, that we place our trust in him and he prays for us, but ultimately it is God who gives the grace that we need. And this is our, uh, the challenge that as we pray to him, Pray to the saints like Saint Jude. They are teaching us actually and pointing that they are not the givers of the graces, but rather they pray with us, for us, before God. And so ultimately, as Jesus did, he obeyed the Father's will. May the example, the prayers of the saints and of Jesus Christ, the Son, as he prayed, may we have also the same attitude of obedience and trust to our Heavenly Father. Amen.